Well, ironically enough, nothing on my channel has gotten more views than my original hurricane vlog from 2022. I forget the name of the hurricane that was coming in at the time, but this is probably the first really good storm that's coming near Tampa since I've moved into the condo at the end of 2022. Uh, we're expecting Hurricane Helena. Um, finally getting some rain starting to come through. So where I am facing uh, here at the condo, my balcony looks literally directly south. Um, so if you were to go straight line distance, the bay is on the other side over there. And then our, I'm sorry, MacDill Air Force Base is at the end of like three miles down the road here. And then straight across the bay would be like Ruskin and stuff. The storm is gonna be out this direction. Uh, coming across the Gulf of Mexico, going that way, up the coast of Florida. I really wish I had a wind speed indicator, but I think I think some of these winds are uh, above the 50 mile an hour range. It actually sounds way more terrible than it is. Uh, the wind whipping through the screen makes a unique whistling sound. Oh yeah, finally feel some rain coming. It hasn't rained all day. Just wind all day. But now I'm getting some rain coming through the screen. I'm uh, I'm prepped as best as I can be here. I put the cover on the smoker and I put a bungee cord so the top doesn't fly off the grill and I put some bricks down there to keep that stable. And just got my seat here so I can watch the, the end of the world. Uh, oh yeah. Finally, see some rain starting to. In a really, really good downpour, my balcony basically will flood um, almost up to the top of the, the orange the orange coating on the floor. I've actually ended up drilling holes. There's a hole right there. No, I'm sorry, it's right. Yeah, it's right there. And then there's another hole right there, right into the floor. which actually just kind of arcs water out. But uh, it definitely keeps the patio a little drier. Before I did that, any really good thunderstorm, this entire patio would be standing water. Uh, since I did that, I haven't had that problem anymore. I just come out here every few months and just like use a stick or something and I un unclog these holes because dirt builds up and they block off but for the most part that solved my drainage issue oh yeah it's coming hearing thunder finally too haven't heard that all day Set this camera up and leave it, but I'd probably get blown over at some point. Right now, Hurricane Helena is a category three. I just looked at the tracking a few minutes ago, and uh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna make a four. Originally they said it might be a four when it crossed by Tampa, but it's uh, currently a three. I, I, I don't think it's gonna get any higher than that before it makes landfall uh, up in the panhandle of Florida. Never know, I guess it could turn. It could just turn right now and come right into Tampa, but that, uh, that typically doesn't happen.
the camera probably can't really pick it up, but that rain is coming down at a solid 40 degree angle. Still got power. Um, I have not really lost power much at all during any event here at the condo. So power has been pretty stable most of the time I've lived here. Um, but you never know what could happen. Uh, currently, I live in a, I won't call it a construction zone anymore because all the painting and everything is done. The entire condo is completely painted now uh, with this gray color. I never, I made a bunch of videos during the painting process, but I never actually got a chance to post any of them. And there's Carbon. Uh, the kitchen has become her new hiding place. Anytime there's a storm or anything going on. Or even when I come home in the afternoon from work, I find her right there. Or she hides a little further over here by where the, the refrigerator is. But yeah, the, uh, I have sold all my furniture. I am preparing to hopefully eventually move up to Iowa. So I don't want to have to take anything with me for the most part. So I've sold everything. Dining room table still needs a buyer. That thing, little hutch bookshelf thing needs a buyer. Other than that, all my stuff's in boxes and just kind of waiting. Keeping the coffee cart because I love that thing. <sighs> Bedroom still pretty much the same as it was back in the day. I got the TVs on the wall. I'm using the dining room table chairs as nightstands because I've sold my nightstands. So, God, I really need to make the bed, don't I? Hopefully, I'm not having to sleep tonight with no power on, but we'll see how it goes. I am in the middle of making some sourdough right now, though. I got it rising there in the oven. Figured if I got nothing to do today with the uh, kind of impromptu day off that we got because all of our Tampa facilities closed down and for the rest of us, we're just kind of watching the storm happen. Sitting here being bored watching YouTube, watching Kevin Builds, uh, AKA Modern Self-Reliance. And uh, our team is posting some pictures of their finding of the storm right now. Anyway, I'll keep a close eye on it and I'll turn the camera back on if anything crazy happens. Listen to that wind. Here, just a quick update. This is actually a live storm tracker off the CNN website, which I typically don't trust CNN for anything, but their storm tracker seems pretty good. Current position, 4 p.m. Category three right now. If we swing out, if that's its current position, so it's basically parallel with Sarasota Bradenton right now probably come by Tampa in the next hour-ish. <clears throat> yeah. Moving very slowly, if it's only gonna be this much further by 8 p.m. tonight. So it's still three and a half, four hours away. Hear that? We're starting to get some rain now. Oh. The door keeps changing its mind from wanting to blow up and to wanting to suck closed. Yeah, starting to get some rain. And it is blowing to the point where it is reaching me <laughs> inside here. Can't wait to see how much water fills up in the patio today.
Oh. Story of my life. Work, watch YouTube, learn more baking tips. <laughs> I think I'll make some bagels while I'm sitting here too. Well, I ended up opening these blinds just so I could see a little more. Looking at the 5 p.m. update, it is just about parallel with Tampa now, according to this. So, I'm not sure the way storms rotate, if we're already experiencing the worst that we're going to get, or is it going to get worse later as it spins around. But uh, My boss sends these as soon as every hour, every two hours when I release a new update, he gives us the the current track so we can be prepared but, yeah we'll just keep plugging away it's pretty dark out there right now for 5 p.m. I wonder how long it'll be before I can take the dog out again well I finally closed the candy that's all, all four bridges uh, now closed. The Skyway was first, obviously, then the Howard Franklin, then the Causeway, and they just announced the Gandhi. So, if you're in St. Pete, there's no way out. I've texted my buddy that now, just to be funny. I was like, because he's over there. He, he lives somewhere, like right over here off by Whedon Island. But, uh, and it's pretty much his neighborhood floods every single time there is one of these he keeps sending me little videos of like his neighbor's dock is getting blown away and you know the water's coming up into his pool and so I was like there is no escape Matt but, uh, so far everything here is good still got power still windy and, and wet outside but uh, nothing has changed too much. Obviously, as you can see, the patio is very wet. But uh, it's not collecting. It's just uh, water on the surface from rain blowing in. Keeps going back and forth to not raining, to blowing like crazy. Just keep an eye on it here. I guess the Jimmy John's over there is closed. There's definitely a lot of people that didn't go to work today. When I went downstairs this morning to walk the dog, uh, the parking lot was, was basically still full, like it was the evening. So you can definitely tell a lot of people that live here didn't go to work today. But yeah, so far so good. Much better outcome than the last hurricane that we did here. Uh, so we'll see if we can stay up all night and hopefully everything works out. I found a, a live feed and now more bands are pushing their way through on YouTube. Next. This is right over I-4, east of Temple. They said the eye of the storm is uh, parallel Tampa, with um, it's work its holiday now, Polk, about 90 Vance, miles out. Paul Harbor, Clearwater, Pinellas Park, more rain just off the shore, finding its way on shore. But remember, this is not going to be a prolific rain event. This is mainly going to be a surge event, and that's, per, of course, going to be our focus heading into the later stages of today. There's that one tornado warning just to the south. Uh, that is going to be active for at least another 15 minutes or so, as we just had a new one for DeSoto County. I'm going to look into that, as that storm system actually has a long ways to go before it would lift into DeSoto County and potentially be an issue for them. Broader picture, though, more impacts going to continue to ramp up for counties. This is like two different feeds. <laughs> this feed's got a feed from Fox 13 here in Tampa. Give you an update on the storm surge forecast as well coming up. We're looking forward to that and actually in a bit. Here's a live look for you outside all around the Tampa Bay area. We've got much more team coverage of Hurricane Helene right here on Fox 13 when we come right back. Right now is just some of the coverage there. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, cholesterol 9, same same kind of data. There's the eye. 
uh, equal there, about 91 miles offshore from Holiday. Holiday is right around up here. We're going to continue to get so much storm surge coming in now. We should be going into low tide right now. We're a few feet above it. Look at these. This, this, this reminds me of my buddy Matt's photos from his neighborhood because he lives right on the water. But everything's still going great here. Still got power. Sourdough bread is still rising in the oven. So everything's going good. Thinking about what I might bake next. Do I want to start anything and then potentially lose power in, in the midst of it? Or do I just want to sit back and, and watch the weather? We'll see. Oh, well, seven o'clock and all is well. You probably can't even see me because it's dark. Uh, I still have power. I just, my living room light is off. I actually locked the deadbolt just for added security. What the fuck? Why the hell would that have gone off? Did the battery in that thing just decide to die? Plus, it's it's plugged into the power of the apartment. That was weird. Where was I? Anyway, I keep locking this deadbolt because I did have this door blow open one morning. Um, I don't think it was just wasn't like all the way, all the way latched. But every time the strong gust comes up, I hear this door really like, what the fuck? Is it like wind coming through the door, like swirling around in the house? Tripping my smoke alarm? I don't know what the hell's going on. Very, very breezy. It is actually hard to close the door. Yeah, well, I'll update every hour or so just to make sure everything is good, but so far, so far, so good. People are going to be like, why don't you turn some lights on? I, I'm definitely, I am not a fan of light. <laughs> I am the person that would work in a dark room and be in a dark room all the time. But, oh well. Come on. She has not even touched her food yet. I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to take her out is. That's going to be fun if she really has to go out in a couple hours and I have to just brave standing out in the rain because by her routine normally she goes out in the afternoon which we did go out once this afternoon before the rain but she usually eats a little bit and then goes out and then eats a little more and then wants to go out again and then we go to bed but if it's raining all night it's not going to be any of that Anyway, till the next update, I'm going to sit here and watch TV. Well, time for the 8 o'clock update. The wind pressure outside is so bad. These windows, I keep hearing them whistle. Like wind is pushing through the seals and whistling through the cracks of the windows. It is insane, the wind right now. A little bit of water on the patio, but it's all right. Still got power, as we can see. Okay, so it is. That 
didn't go off. It's only when I open the door. So there's some vacuum effect or a wind effect as soon as the door is open and it, it triggers my smoke alarm to go off. Holy crap. That means I'd have to go outside and actually stand outside with the door closed to be able to do anything out there without it going off. But yeah, it's definitely blowing pretty, pretty dang hard. I got a little nervous laying in bed a second ago when I heard the wind, the window whistle. That was kind of eerie. All right, well, I'll come back if anything interesting happens. Well, it's nine o'clock update time. Um, this is my first storm in this condo and I'm sure these windows are tested and certified for the particular wind speed that we're having right now, which I think is around 75. But for me, who's never experienced a storm here before, I'm very nervous at the sounds these windows are making. Yep, still have power, obviously. Watching suits. But, yeah, the, the wind whistling... And the creaking and cracking that the windows keep doing is definitely a little nerve-wracking. Other than that, we're doing fine. Doing fine. I don't have the tripod, but I came out here anyway. It's just, it's not raining right now, but it, the wind is insane. Windows buckle and like air just escape inside. It's, it's very, very scary. As you can see, our our complex, the buildings, essentially make. Uh, like a U-shape around the clubhouse and the pool there. Um, so it's just kind of, it's a weird vortex that gets trapped in here. And it's like every time I open my door now, the smoke alarm goes off. There's some vortex of wind that comes inside the condo and triggers my smoke alarm like, like smoke's passing over it. I would think by now we should be gotten through the worst of it, but every few minutes I still keep hearing crazy wind gusts like it's full force. Surprisingly enough, I did a, a quick search on like DoorDash and uh, Uber Eats, and both of them still had delivery times. Like, you know, the normal kind of 30 minute, 40 minute, whatever. So I, I, I'm like, are they really still guys out there brave enough to be DoorDash drivers? Um, it looks like the Jimmy John's is sit, shut down, but on the app, it said I could order from there. So, you know, there, some of these places might be just closed and that they're still, the app is still showing like it's uh, business, business as usual. I know Carmen's going to lose her mind because she thinks she's going to go, but I'm going to do a quick investigation of how it is in the breezeways outside. You hear that freight train kind of wind. Raining, so why can't we take carbon out? Let's let's take the dog. Out. So it's no reason why should stop me from letting carbon go out. Hang on. Okay, come on, 
come on. She is, um, she has terrible cataracts, so I'm nearly blind. <laughs> and she's very much deaf at this point, I think. She can't even hear when I, when I come home, or she can't hear me calling her, or nothing. There's definitely a vacuum on the door. So yes, I live up on the fourth floor. <laughs> so every time it's three flights down and three flights back up. It's a good thing I've spent the last two years getting in shape and losing weight. Dropped 170 pounds, so I can do stairs now. It's water. Not raining. Oh, 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 my Lanta, I forgot I had the canoe on my car. Oh. Well, I mean, I can drive at 80 miles an hour, so the canoe should be fine, right? Lots of little, little tiny branches. Uh, all down, which is to be expected. Oh, uh, the guy with the classic van, he, he had that, he, he has this really nice windshield cover when he's gonna be gone and, and leaves his van facing the sun, and I guess it, uh, it ripped it off. Yeah, lots, lots of little branches. <laughs> if I needed kindling for a fire, it'd be great. <laughs> The, uh, looks like the electric gates are not working, either by design or by, uh, weather. Not really sure. They might have just left them open tonight for safety. Carp, come on, let's go see if the canoe is still on Dad's car. Come on. I love the breeze, man. As a little branch falls and almost hits me. So the most annoying part about living here is, is I live in this building. It has a staircase on either end of it. Okay, I walked a dog right over there where you just saw. And my parking spot is nowhere near the building I live in. It is in front of the next building, past a whole set of garages. It's the worst thing. But it's condo life when the, the parking here is very limited. Every other day, someone's taking your spot because there was no guest spots. I had to have someone towed a couple weeks ago. Actually, the Labor Day weekend. I came home Thursday night, they were in my spot. Uh, I came home Friday night, they were still in my spot, and then Saturday, so clearly it was someone who went away for the weekend, uh, so I had them towed. And then uh, ironically, I actually saw them rolling back in on uh, Monday night after they heard their Labor Day weekend. But, uh, that's it. Hopefully he doesn't actually know who towed him. All right, well, the canoe is still on the car. It looks like it's shifted back a tiny bit. Yeah, it might have shifted 
backward, just like maybe half an inch or something. It looked a little more slanted, but uh, for the most part, it looks good. The tree hasn't fallen and hit in the car or anything. The canoe's still intact, so yeah, good deal. Oh, and carbon is going through. Okay, well, let me deal with that. Fun, right? It's the great joy of having a dog. Okay, well. Good job, Carbon, for going to the bathroom. This, uh, you know, might be the last time until tomorrow. Depending on what the weather does. I don't see any trees down here at the complex. Just these little uh, branches and stuff. They've actually done quite a bit of tree trimming in the last several weeks. Uh, just in case, getting rid of anything that looked like it might fall. Uh, I thought they actually removed too much, but so far, nothing's fallen. There's the car with the canoe. I really wanted to try to take that thing out today. I figured fishing would be really good. Not even with a hurricane, but every park was closed, and uh, there was a little bit of work to do still. Um, but so I never got to take the canoe out. So. And tomorrow will be recovery day with work to see if there's anything broken, what we need to do to fix it, that kind of stuff. And then uh, hopefully Friday I'll get to take the canoe out again. Oh, a little, little top blew off of that pole. The one that says no dogs on the grass, where my dog is on the grass. Come on. Now we head back in. Oh my god, so this side of the building, the staircase, is like a wind tunnel. I'm trying to walk up the stairs. It's trying to blow you back off the stairs. It's insane. The inside of the building wasn't like this, but then I was going down. So maybe it was and I just didn't feel it because it was on my back. Stop sniffing, just walk. This hall is much wetter than the other one is, too. Come on. Alright, back inside. Safe and sound. Oh, damn it. <laughs> when I first got Carbon in 2018, I was trying to make her like me, and every time we would go out, she'd get a treat. Well, after years now, she cannot go out without getting a treat as soon as she comes back in. It is her thing. She is a treat-driven dog. So every morning she gets her two vitamins and then a treat. And then every time she goes pee or goes anything outside, she gets a treat. And she's getting old, so I spoil her now a little more. And so she gets this little chewy stick thing. Right, Carbon? You're old lady. Four, 15 years old. So for a lab pit, I think that's pretty damn good. So <laughs> the spot, the square on her burner on her neck there, she, uh, she keeps getting fleas. And I keep giving her the flea baths and... Uh, I wasn't sure if maybe when I put the flea medicine on or maybe it just it was too much on her hair and not enough on her skin and just wasn't being effective. Because um, I would have expected Demal to have be gone by now. Um, so I gave her a flea bath again this morning? Was it this morning or yesterday? Can't remember now. And then <laughs> I literally got my beard trimmer and I cut a little square. Uh, just a light shave there so I could make sure that the flea medicine 100% went on her skin because um, I'm tired of seeing her itch and I know she doesn't like it either so if not we're getting more flea bats all right well I will start filming again if anything else happens or anything anything gets worse I think uh, I think we're through the worst of it hopefully you know, the wind settled down enough that I was able to go outside just now. So, I think.
think we're going to be okay. So I will update in the morning with uh, anything that happened overnight, probably. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the morning. Probably loves our chewing stick. Well, uh, it's 10, what, 10, 15? 10, 18, the rain just started again. I was coming out here and I heard something. I'm like, oh, that sounds like we're pouring again. Pouring and blowing. So we're, we're going through a, another feeder ban of it right now because the wind just got incredibly stronger than it was five minutes ago. Hear that. So much worse than it was just a few minutes ago. I can't keep that open. I'm gonna set this damn smoke alarm off again. metal roofs on top of this on top of the clubhouse ah, that, it's not gonna I'm sure the camera isn't picking that up very well I apologize yeah so some part of those little structures was creaking real hard when that last huge gust came. Alright, well, I guess we'll go back inside and keep an eye on things. Part of me wants to set up a camera and just leave it out here overnight, but that'd be a lot to do. I don't have an extra phone right now I could use for that. Alright, well, till tomorrow morning, hopefully. Carver, we're not going out again. We just went out 20 minutes ago. So, it's pouring again. My buddy at work just texted me. He lives on St. Pete. Uh, right near Weed Island, he's got water coming in his house. Ankle deep, he says. Floors popping up, like the wood floors. I just heard something explode. Uh, ironically, I just got an email a few minutes ago from Tico about my power outage, but uh, power's still on. So there must be some transformers nearby. Oh god! As soon as I get near the screen, it's soaking me with water. Um, Transformers nearby that have popped, um, but obviously the power is still on here. Ugh. Yeah, Lord. I thought we were through the worst of it, but it's, it's continuing to get worse. Oh my God, I couldn't open the door. As soon as I do, the wind. Shut the fuck up. Jeez. That is crazy. I guess just wind swirls through my house and hits the smoke alarm. Like smoke's going through. Oh man, all right, well. So far we're still good. Like I said, pouring again. Uh, it's 11, what time is it now? 
It's 11.42, so gosh. By now, the storm should be almost to the panhandle to making landfall. I can't believe we're still getting this much, but I haven't looked at a tracker in a little bit, so. All right, well, I'll continue to update as anything happens throughout the night. Well, I'm in bed now. Um, it's midnight, it's like 12.05, and I'm just, you know, scrolling on Facebook like you do. And uh, there's a, uh, like, extreme meteorologist, Storm Chasers, uh, they've got a live feed, and they're, they're in the eye right now in the panhandle. Um, so the hurricane has made landfall. CNN listed as a Cat 4 coming across the, in, in the into Florida, 140 miles an hour. Uh, pressure 938 millibars, so that is a very, very intense storm. Because, like I said, we're still getting hit here. I keep hearing bands of extreme wind and rain and everything, so it'll probably happen throughout the night. Um, yeah, and I think I think Bay Water is gonna keep rising for another couple hours too. So feel bad for all those people that are getting flooded in the Pinellas County area. So, well, I'll keep keep you updated here.